Hey guys, welcome to the Field of 68 YouTube channel. If you like what you see here, hit that subscribe button and you'll get more college basketball content just like this. Uh, there are three teams that have a gap of at least 16 spots in the consensus preseason top 25. Arizona, San Diego State, and Villanova all had at least one person rank them in the top 10. They also all had at least one person leave them unranked uh, in the preseason top 25s. Uh, top 25 is vibes. That was weird. Anyway, Arizona, out of Arizona, San Diego State, and Villanova, which of those teams uh, do you trust the most? Oh, boy. Um, none of them. Can I say that? I mean, I, if I have to gun to my head, I'll take San Diego State. Uh, wow. I, and I, it doesn't feel good to say that. But I, again, I think I'm pretty clear. I'm down on Villanova here. I'll go more on that later. And it's impossible to say the team with Caleb Love is the team you trust the most. It just mm -hmm. is. Like we we've now seen this for two seasons. Like if it goes well, they're in the national championship game. If it goes horribly, they're not in the NCAA tournament. That's going to be the thing with a team that's built around him. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I think San Diego State, like they do bring enough pieces back that there's an infrastructure that you know what you're going to get from them. You're going to get elite defense. You're going to get a team that's really well connected. You're going to get a well-coached group that's old as shit. And that matters in college basketball right now. They're going to win a ton of conference games and be one of the toughest outs come postseason play in the entire country. So I, like, that's the known quantity there to me out of those three teams. I think there's more unknowns with Arizona and with Villanova than there are with San Diego State. Yeah, so San Diego State is the one to me that I don't really understand why there's that big of a gap, right? They're the team that I kind of look at them and say, yeah, you know what? They're probably going to be pretty good. They're probably not going to be this top 10 kind of a team. They're probably not going to be the team that runs it back and makes another run to the Final Four. Like, they're just going to be – they're not going to be the ceiling San Diego State. They're going to be that team that goes like 11-5 and five in the Mountain West, wins the regular season title by like half of a game and – um doesn't score more than 60 points the entire season. There's just, they're just very like kind of okay, fine to me, right? I understand Arizona having that big of a gap. To me, Villanova is the one that you got to trust the most here. And the red flag, the concern that I have is that our partner for today's episode is Athletic Greens. I started taking AG1 during the college basketball season and I loved the impact that it had on my energy levels. I'm a big coffee in the morning guy, but by the time that the afternoon would hit, I needed another boost. AG1 helped me tremendously, especially on those days when I didn't want to get up off the couch and go hit the gym. Their tagline is AG1 is comprehensive health and the power of habit in one. And man, that could not be more true. It's nearly impossible to eat and drink in a healthy manner in the month of February and the month of March when you are in my business. And AG1 was exactly the supplement that I needed to improve my gut health and cover my nutritional basis for the day. I've continued that into April. I've continued that into May, and I'm going to continue that the rest of the summer. All I have to do is mix a scoop of AG1 with some water or maybe add it into a smoothie and I'm ready to go. Do it after lunch and you'll be ready to go for the rest of the day. If a comprehensive solution is what you need from your supplement routine, then Athletic Greens is giving you a free one-year supply of vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. Go to athleticgreens.com backslash field68. That's field68, F-I-E-L-D, the number six, the number eight, and you can get yours now. So check it out and help support this show. Thanks. Um, Jay Wright to me, was one of the best teachers of basketball that you're ever going to find. I think that his ability to get guys to understand how he wanted them to play um, and get them to buy into uh, their concepts and their schemes. And, and you know, they didn't, they didn't run plays when Jay Wright was there, right? They had their concepts. They had things that they did. It was basically just simple basketball, drive, draw a second defender, find somebody open, make a three, attack a closeout, get into the paint, jump stop, pivot, either take a shot or find somebody to create another closeout opportunity, right? They, they didn't run offense. Um, they ran, they just played. And I think that Kyle is trying to do something similar. And I'm not sure that he's that level of teacher of the game, right? I would be willing to bet on the talent there, but it's also, you got a bunch of new faces, man. Like when was the last time we saw Villanova? I, I, I ran the numbers the other day. In Jay Wright's last 10 seasons as head coach, they brought in a total 
of four transfers. Kyle Neptune this offseason is bringing in four transfers. It, it's just it's a complete departure from what we expect Villanova to be. And you got to give Kyle credit for adjusting to the times and buying into the ideas of what you need to do to be able to succeed in college basketball in 2024. But we've never seen them do it. So that's my big question, right? Like I need to, I'm willing to bet on it, but I need to see Kyle do it before I fully buy into it, where it's like Arizona and Caleb Love, you kind of know what you're getting there. And I, I have a feeling, I mean, you said it right. There's going to be games where they look like it, the best team in college basketball. And there's going to be games where they lose by 15 to Stanford or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it sounds like Arizona last year too, right? Like that's not a departure from the group we had last year <laughs> with Kirk Reese. Uh, you're our you're own- so right, man. Shit. Like you're, <laughs> you're, you're so right. Arizona is going to be, they're going to be the worst team to bet on. I don't, yeah. you know what? Can we make an agreement right now? I need you to hold me this. Oh, you are not allowed to bet on Arizona basketball games next season. I can't make that agreement. I'm in love with <laughs> Tommy Lloyd teams. I bet them every game last year. You know who my title pick was pre-tournament. Um, but okay. <laughs> look, look, I forgot look, about that. I forgot about that. Yeah, I, I know. I don't know that. why I'm reminding you of that. Thank you for watching the field of 68. If you've enjoyed what you've seen here, hit that like button, share this link with your friends or check out the description for some other places that you can consume field 68 content.